So, open the lakes. We spot pike fishing. With the thieving chickens. Yes, with the thieving chickens. So, going out in the boat. Down to Derwent Water. We're going to stick that in today. Do a little bit of piking, and then we've got all day tomorrow. We've got some thieving chickens. Keep nicking bread and stuff. So, let's get down to Derwent and let's do a little bit of piking. But so, pike has interrupted. Brought my skin and blister with me fishing. She's feeding chickens. Just making some sandwiches uh, for out there. For our little day trip. It's a better route, Ben. Before the sun goes down, we'll be able to get that boat in. Yeah, what I'm trying to do it before these eat the butties. They keep coming in, chickens keep coming in and stealing the butties. Look at the state of them now. There they are. Yeah, hey, yeah, look at that. Go yeah. away! Wow! Here, have a sausage. Come on. There you go. So we're out on Durban water, trolling along. We've got a, a Rapala out there, redhead. And we're just trolling along on the downrigger. After some pike. Hopefully, we'll have some fish. If not today, tomorrow, because we're here for three days. We've got three days. We're just a bit of trolling with a, a Rapala on at the moment. This rod's got a, a jelly on, or a shad, a jelly shad with a stinger on. Put the stingers on. And then tomorrow we'll float troll there. Uh, dead baits. Right. A bit of water. I think we've got a leak. We've <laughs> got a bit of a leak. Gotta keep out. Be watch out for all the humans. Look at there. There's Neville and Barbara. Having a little bit of a roll. Again. <laughs> so we'll have a troll for the next few hours. We're going to moor the boat up. We don't have to keep taking it out and putting it in. We'll moor it all up. Lock everything in the cabin, and hopefully, give it that big. We'll have some uh, bike or e sucks Lucius. Right, so we'll see you in a bit, kids. In the boat today, fishing for all these socks Lucius on the lures. Uh, but tomorrow, we're going to have another go. But we're going to go work uh, dead baits tomorrow, troll dead baits, uh, and I'm going to rig it up later so I'll show you how we're gonna do that. At the moment we're having gammon gammon potatoes and gravy so that's tea that'll let go get the old gammon on the go I might need to change the batteries in this headlamp and all. And a few spices. What should we have? Should we have chicken and steak on gammon? No. Should we have garlic, herb and tomato? Or seas all season? I think garlic, herb Don. and tomato. I think garlic, herb and tomato, Beverly. Ooh, sounds nice. And then we'll rig up them... Uh, Dead bait trolling rigs for tomorrow. Float fish dead bait trolling rigs, and we'll go on the uh, we'll go on the electric motor tomorrow, not the uh, outboard outboard motor. It goes a little, little bit too fast. A little bit too fast. That. All right. That's where's the bin? There's me bin. So here we are in the middle of the uh, Lake District. Yeah. And there's nobody here because it's it's out of season, isn't it? It's out of season. Mm. Turn that down a bit. Get a bit, a bit hot in there. Oh, two big chunky gammon steaks. Look at that. The door stops. Oh, <laughs> bad boy! Here. Yeah. There's more than two in there. There's three. There's one in our beach. He sucked it pan. 13 years I've had that pan, it's doing well. I bought it from Gander Mountain in the in in the good old US of A. That's in America. Oh 
Well, a bit of all singing, all dancing. Ooh. And Bob's your teapot. Oh, look at that. Don't put loads on mine. They're not yours. <laughs> oh, bloody, bloody, do me a din. What? No, no, I can't see you. Put a bit of pepper yeah. on it. You like pepper, don't you, Ref? No. You're not better than all a spice. It's not a spice lady. You're not a spice girl, are you? <laughs> spice world. Where's my bing on? I think I need some new batteries because this headlamp's supposed to be 2,000 lumens. And that is not 2,000 lumens. But it will be in a minute. It will be in a minute when I get some fresh bats in it. Right, we're going to have dinner. Then we'll go for a shite. Some turtling. Turtle's head's touching cloth. I'm turning you off now. Gabbard steaks, gabbard steaks, potatoes and gravy. Yeah. There's a brick wall behind us where all the chickens are in the next <laughs> It's a bit dark, isn't it? Um, bit too dark. But there's our dining area. Right, come on, scoff. Oh. Nom 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 I know it's dark, but it's uh, it's autumn and it goes dark early in autumn, so we're gonna have to do this in the dark. However, we'll see it better tomorrow when we actually use it. And tomorrow we are going out in the boat, and what we're going to be doing is trolling with dead baits, float trolling. So what we need is floats, of course. Just gonna rig the rods up now. They are 60 gram sliders, as you can see, sliders right the way through. Big 60 gram ones. I got these from Sweden. I can't find them over here. 60 gram, can you see? No. No, never mind, because it is dark. Right, so 60 gram slider floats. And then my own little rig. Basically, this is a dead bait rig for trolling. It's quite a long rig. You can see that. And what it has on here is a mackerel hook. And that's tied on with a knotless knot, funnily enough. A bit of sticky shrink tube there and two stinger hooks basically they're the trebles they sit in the side of the fish the dead bait that gets hooked through the mouth so basically it keeps it in a straight line and we've got uh, we've got some spinner blades on them as well and some other ones which I'll show you tomorrow so I'm gonna knock them up and what am I putting on trolling in the boat with this these are crackers and basically what it is it is a stalking rod it's a carp stalking rod i've got my bait runner on there my uh, gte uh, 8000s and this is an ngt stalker rod nine foot two and a half pound test curve the belting rods uh, for trolling with because the two and a half pound test curve and of course nine foot long just about the right size so i'm going to start rigging that one up very shortly if i turn that other light on it might be a bit better oh turn the other light on Oh, there's more, more, more than me trolling rig with a single treble, I had a single hook, that's all the crap. And I've got a mm. mesh bag full of them here, all different pipe rigs, pipe traces, wire traces, spinner blades. Here's one, it says spinner blade trolling trace. Let's have a look at it, it's quite heavy. So, so basically that's what that is, but with uh, of course double trebles and a single hook, so what's on there is basically a spinner blade and of course then the wire trace with the dead bait on, and that goes through the water, depending on how fast you're trolling is how fast that spins. Like uh, that leech's earrings? I know. <laughs> And again, I'll show you how to make them in another video. Right, I'm going to get this rigged up and then I'll show you uh, my dead bait trolling rig. Fantastic. By the way, people, he has just pooed his pants. I have not. 
<laughs> I've done a little trump, but poo came out. So basically, he shat his pants. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, well, you know me. Right. God, there's more traces than you can shake a shitty Teflon stick at anyway. So let's get this little lot away. Over there. Look at that. Must be down with a good ball been using that today, but we didn't catch anything on lures today, so we're having to go with dead baits tomorrow, see if that works. Yeah, not on the down rigger though. Float trolling. On the electric motor, on number one, so they just through the water. Nice and slow. And inject them with a bit of pilchard oil just to give it that added attraction. Yeah, hello. I don't get any pilchards. I've got pilchard oil. I oh. have. I inject it with a needle. I'll show you that tomorrow, Ben. You learn lots of things when you're out with me. Even how to soil yourself and don't care about it. I don't want to do that, thank you. <laughs> <laughs> right, so let's get these away. Because I don't need to put the rigs on tonight because I'm not putting them on the bivvy. They'll go on in the boat tomorrow. So I'm just knocking up the float and the leads. And of course, all the other bump that goes with it. So, that can go down there. That rig, these are cracking rigs. You'll see how it works tomorrow. That's why it's extra long. Because it's a trolling rig. It's not for casting, it's just for trolling behind a boat. And I've had some great fish on them in Sweden. Nothing yet here, but we'll soon see tomorrow, won't we? On Derwent Water. Back of the onion bag. built in next them and again another video I'll put on the uh, tinter web uh, how to actually make them but that'll have to be done in the classroom or at home in the living room at table and chairs not sat in the bivvy uh, freezing your nads off even though it's not cold right see you in a bit kids my, a rig, uh, my trolling rig firstly start off with the top is a little plastic bead that is just to stop the stop knot sliding over the stop knot which will be put on tomorrow as you can see there's nothing there at the moment I'm going to put that on with a power gun we're going to let a bit of line out first because we want to troll about oh about 10 15 foot so I'm going to let a bit of line out then fix the stop knot to it in power gun then that is what is underneath your anal beads <laughs> <laughs> okay well you're worse than me Right, so 60 gram, and then one, two, three bullets, three 18 gram bullets, that'll just cock it to about there. Yeah, and of course it trolls along like so. Then in between each bullet is a rubber, eight millimeter black rubber bead. They're just basically buffer beads, because when they start banging together, we don't want the gaps of the, uh, in, the, in the lead closing up and nipping the line and possibly snapping it. Then a buffer, a buffer bead, at the bottom just over the swivel and the most important part is that the swivel that makes you orgasm no it doesn't Beverly <laughs> it is when you pull a ball your anal bearing up. swivel <laughs> you must have a ball bearing swivel I put two on because I'm going to connect that to another ball bearing swivel to me trace yeah so there's two ball bearing swivels because it just turns in the water like that the fish the dead bait yeah and again, if you don't have ball bearing swivels off, it just makes one holy mess of your line. It's just like a proper bird's nest. So make sure you put ball bearing swivels on if you're going to make it. Use your anal beads. Topic. Yes, anal beads, Bev. That's right, anal beads. And then, of course, onto that goes the, uh, the trace, which I showed you earlier. And again, we'll see that better tomorrow once I've hooked it up to a uh, dead bait. I've got mackerel and herring. I'll hook them on. And again, plonked over the side of the boat, trolled behind the boat about, I don't know, 50 yards or so. On number one, on the electric motor, nice and slow, and it just goes through the water like a wounded fish. And Pike love it. I've had loads of success in Sweden fishing like that, so I'm going to try it in Blighty. Lovely. Right, see you in the morning, kids, for some pike fishing. And don't stick them up your arse. So I brought my yeah. sister pike fishing in the boat, and she's brought her Jimmy Jams with her. <laughs> Is hell skin a blister? <laughs> I've been farted in And that we are fishing bag. with anal beads tomorrow. <laughs> Christopher's already shot his pants. <laughs> no. Ready to go. Right, let's get this little lot in the car ready for morning. Breakfast, then Spine down to the down to the lake for some 
he sucks Lucius so well, I hope I get a fish. Yeah, or you, Beverly. Yeah. Yes. I best add. I'll be most disappointed if I don't. <laughs> morning. It's morning o'clock. It's pike o'clock. I've got a brew. Got the little stove going because it's a bit nippy and bivy up here at Lake. And we've got fresh chicken for breakfast. <laughs> <sighs> and we're going piking. So, we're going to have our breakfast. Uh, then we're going to go down to Derwent Water. The boat's already in. I'm going to change the motors over. Get out in the boat, get some of them dead baits on and we'll have a troll around there for a couple of hours, see what happens. If you don't see me ne in the next hour or two, you know I've not caught anything. Yeah, happy days. I've got an infection in my finger. And we've got free chicken. And Bevan keeps feeding the chickens so they're going to come back in. I'm going to bugger that chicken later. How can you bugger it, big chicken? Because it's got a bum I, mean, I know, but have you got a small willy then? <laughs> my mate did you it. Must have a, you must have a my, my scopic willy. My mate did it in the army. My mate did it in the oh, army. Oh, run Henwin, he's, he's going to poke your bum. He shagged the chicken up the arse. Oh, seriously? Yeah. Oh, that's wrong. Yeah, it was, it was the flip-flop gang that did it. The chicken fuckers. <laughs> <laughs> chicken fucker! Well, yeah, chicken fuckers. Yeah, Henwin. We're supposed to be making a fishing video, not a feed the fucking chickens video. <laughs> See, if you keep She's having it, breakfast. If you keep feeding it, it'll come back for morning. It'll be poking its head through dawn every morning. They are. Don't feed it on me carpet. Oh, that shut cost up. me four quid from Patheli Market. <laughs> oh, shame, it'll clean. <laughs> Four quid from Patheli Market! I'll stick it in Dad's washing machine. Got some comfy bum as well. You know what that's for? Because I've already sold myself, as you probably know. I've mentioned it yesterday. I stood up on my bed chair, strained to get out of my bed chair, and I did a little trump and poo came out. <laughs> right, what are we having for breakfast, Nell? Bacon, eggs, sausage, beans. On a diet then? <laughs> <laughs> nice calorie breakfast for fishing. I'm having my brew first, then we'll go. It's a lovely day. It's not raining anyway, that's the main no, thing. No, it's not raining outside. We could turn that off now you've got the door open. Yeah. You're just wasting gas. Shite then. That's why, for those people that don't know, butane stoves are shite in winter and autumn. Why? Because if you had propane, the difference between butane and propane isn't the flammability of them, actually. Yeah, propane freezes at minus 42 degrees, where butane freezes at minus 2. That's why you see forklifts and everything else. Yeah, they're powered by butane, uh, propane. Because if they were powered by butane and it was cold, they wouldn't go anywhere because it is a shite in cold weather. There you go, a little bit of uh, information for you there. Right, who's cooking breakfast? You! Don't, don't burn your trotters on that, Bev. My they're me trotters. <laughs> These are my fingers. Uh, Look, you've missed a bit of hen win. We probably want some sausage, bacon and eggs, not bothered with tuck. Yeah. Wants a full English. I see, see, I see, I mean, normally they go around picking fucking ants up and bugs and... Yeah, but and they come in here and have and now sausage, it, it sausage and tuck biscuits. Yeah, and now it doesn't want anything else. Look, you've spoilt it. Oh. Well, yeah, have a bit more then. Come on, anyway, this is, let's, let's... Uh, oh, no, it's bored with top biscuits. Oh, for God's sake, stick your finger up your pooper. <laughs> <laughs> right, let's go fishing. Fucking breakfast first, Nell. Come on, then, get it on the go. Cook it in here. I told you bring the kettle in here. I won't cook on there. It'll take about two days for it to boil on that shite. All right. I'm having me brew first. Oh, it's great having pets on holiday. I have to leave my dog at home. Look at your hair. <gasps> Don't show <laughs> that on there. No. no. <laughs> Look at his egg pop. Just trying to flip me egg. <laughs> Denise got me this. It's a cracking little bloody doodah for, for eggs. Look, it's a belter. What you do is flip it over like that, put it back on the stove, easy washing. Oh, there we go. 
bacon, egg, sausage, black pudding, beans, and a chicken. Hetty's back. Fuck, 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 fuck off, fuck off. <laughs> Hot dogs are nasty. Right, here's your plate, Bev. Time for your scoff. Let's get plated up. A little bit of fish recognition for you. What do we have here? That is a common carp. Yellow. That is a, a fish. It's a perch. Yellow. That is a fish. Perch. Yellow. And I think that's a salmon. I'm not well up on my. Uh, oh, it's like a trout. Salmon. That's not a trout. We'll probably uh, be able to tell by the fins actually what it is. Oh right. But either way, it's not one a of trout those. then. It's one of those. It's a Brussels sprout. Right. 50p from Asda then. Plastic, great fishing plates. Yep. Right, let's get the uh oh, heavy that. Get the beans back on the go. You've not so, got a handle for that pad. There's a handle on it. Of no. Got an handle for it. There's yours just kind of floor. Don't let Hetty have it. No. Tell you what. Oh my god, look at them all over there. I know, all them chickens, right, by the time someone... They're from over here. Because, Bev... Oh, sorry, I was just filming the chickens. chickens. By the time people come to eat them chickens, Oh, my God, if they start they coming all over here, we're going to be invaded. Bev, by the time somebody comes to eat them chickens, which is inevitable because that's what they do, don't they? They grow, they die, they get eaten, yeah? And then... One's going to taste of pork scratchings, so it's going to taste of pig. One's going to taste of tuck biscuits. Mm, very cheesy, that chicken. It must be off. And it, uh, must be off. Oh, shit, my ass hurts. And fucking cocktail sausages. Because that's what she's been feeding them. Sausage and chicken? You're going to stand on it there? I can stand on it. Great little pan, that. Go on, look at that a pan. For roast chicken. Put it by your bum, it might lay oh, an egg in it. It'll burn its, it'll burn its lips. <laughs> <laughs> it's got a nice feathery arse. Right. Come on now, here's your scoff. Oh dear, I think you're stood on his toe. Or her toe. My God, there's freaking hundreds of them. Got some pepper on it. Oh no! Hey. You got your breakfast. Got your breakfast. Got your breakfast. Still got your fucking pajamas on. Still got gym jams on. Got some breakfast. Oh, he's going to pick me sausages. He would and all. Greedy chicken. That chicken, when it dies, which it will do, is going to taste of pork. Are we sitting in here? Yeah. Right, it's daytime now, we can have a look at these rigs. Yeah, I haven't even brushed my hair. Like a lawyer, don't I? Right, let's have a look at this rig and what we're doing. Firstly, of course, uh, we're chilling on the electric motor today. That's 40 pound thrust. Has no problem pushing this little boat along, 14 footer, uh, on number one, just to get this to sail through the water. Still frozen, been in there two days. Yeah, in the boat. Right, let's have a look at the rig then. Firstly, rod, as I mentioned last night, it is an NGT nine foot margin stalker rod. Two and a half pound test curve. Perfect uh, for this boat, for trolling. Yeah. I've got 20 pound, uh, I don't know what line on there, it's been on there years, but it's 20 pound line with a Shimano Bait Runner 8000 GTE. Right, so firstly, we've got our 60 gram, 60 gram uh, slider float. Again, we've got a little uh, plastic bead there. That's just to stop the power gum, if you can see it there. The power gum stop knot, which is set at about six foot because we're only in uh, eight to 12 foot of water here on Derwent water. If you look around there at the, here, no. Fish finder, 
fish finder 11 foot we're in 10 11 foot of water at the moment and she's going up the hills not a very good camera lady are you oh, never mind you'll there uh, i'll teach you right cocking that 60 gram float we've got three 18 gram uh balls inline balls basically ball shot ball leads and between them we have got buffer beads eight millimeter rubber beads yeah just to stop them banging about together closing the holes up nipping the line cutting your line you've lost everything don't show them up your bum yeah don't show them up they're not anal beads as you most got. <laughs> So yeah, anal beads. Yeah, As you keep using. This is the important bit, is these here. Yeah. What we have there, ball bearing swivels. I've put two snap link ball bearing swivels on there just to let it turn more easy. Otherwise, that fish goes round like that in the water. It just goes round and round and round and round and you just make one holy mess of your line. So, make sure you put... Uh, ball bearing swivels on there I've put two on okay then connected to that is 30 pound uh, nylon coated wire trace 30 pound again it's a bit long not for casting this is for trolling okay and of course we've got the mackerel hook there if you can see that that is a knotless knot mackerel hook knotless knot it's, not. it's a knotless knot and again the two stingers yeah, so the treble hooks on the side that nip into the side of the fish so again what we do with this we've got a head in here whole heading that goes through its bottom lip right the way through its bottom lip like this and out through its top like so so that hooks on like that and that takes the weight of the fish as you can see that pulls the fish through the water so it's not the trebles that are just nipped into the side like so it's not the trebles that are taking the weight of that fish it's the mackerel hook on the top and that absolutely stinks it smells like your knickers Bev <gasps> I've had a shower you haven't so there we go what we do we just plop that over the side yeah. Yeah. just lower it down so we come to the stop knot That'll cock it, yep, like so. Now what I do, I just run the lecky motor, just travel along a bit, let a bit of line out until it's about 50 yards behind the boat. Can you see that float there? Yeah, so it's about 50 yards behind the boat. And again, I'm just going along now at one. Oh, that stinks. I know. Because uh. if we can smell it, it's open the Dick Van Dyke. That's Pike, if you didn't know. <laughs> now what I do, as we're going along, just for number one on the motor, very slow troll, is I put the bait runner on, but I set it, so if I do get a take, I just set that enough, so if I do get a take, yeah, it'll take line into my rod holder, clip that across so I don't lose rod. Down there, and that's it. We are trolling, float trolling for Pike. Again, nice and slow today. You can't do this on the electric, uh, the, the, the outboard engine, the outboard motor, because it's too fast even on tick over. So, there's one done. Better put my power gum away. Nice little bit of power gum for the stop knot. Good little bit of kit, that. Yeah, that go back in the tackle box, or one of the tackle boxes. There's one pipe back tackle box number one. Loads of goodies in there. Loads of goodies. And pipe box number two. And even more goodies in there. Fantastic. Right, so we'll put them away for now. And then we'll rig up. Beffy's rod. Do you want a herring or mackerel? Because I've got mackerel as well. And that'll just troll across nicely. Again, if we get a take, I'll just hear the uh I'll hear the uh, the bait I'll runner. Oh mackerel on mine. Screaming real, screaming mackerel. You want mackerel? Oh we're at 12 foot. 13 foot. We're in 13 foot of water now, nicely trolling along. Oh go, here comes the waves. Here comes the, the Keswick boat company. <laughs> Making waves. Here comes the Mungo Jerry. The Mungo Jerry, the ferry. <laughs> right. Right. 
So, exactly the same on this rod, because we've got two. Because we've got to have, uh, got to let a sister have a go. She's the one that'll catch all the fish and I'll get diddly squat as usual. Yep. Here comes the ferry. We're going to get wobbled about everywhere now. Oh, look at these. I think we're going to have to turn into the uh, turn into the waves here. Bows on. Otherwise, we'll get washed about. There's the Mungo Jerry going by. Oh, we're going to get wibbly wobbly here now. Oh yeah, there they come. Ready for it? Hold on tight. Oh, I'm done. Oh, here we go. Here we go. Let's get into it. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yes! You have to put up with that if you come to Derwent Water. Because they're around here all day, but keep your eye out for them as well. Because they won't beat their own, they'll just come cruising past and they don't care if you're there or not. Again, that'll just that'll just sit there nice and straight keep us going straight but again I've got to keep my eye out for these uh, other boats right I'll get this one rigged up for you Bev exactly the same as mine do you want mackerel or heron did you say mackerel mackerel you've got heron now oh, mackerel. mackerel right let's get this one rigged up and I'll what? see you in a bit here we go so that's the heading one again I'll have two at the time going out one either side of the boat again we're only trolling very very slowly that that fish is just going like that through the water it looks like a wounded fish. This, of course, is whole mackerel. It's not been gutted. It's still got the head and tails on. Absolutely stinks. Again, it's the same principle with this. Through the top of its mouth, that takes the weight while you're trolling. It's not the side, uh, the, the trebles on the side of the fish. They're just nicked into the skin. They're to the stingers, basically, to hook the pike, like so. So as you can see, all the weight is taken on that mackerel hook, funnily enough, yeah, and that absolutely pongs. It's fresh mackerel uh, from St. Uh, no, it's Morrison's, yeah. All mackerel from Morrison's in the bag, we'll put that away now. Yeah. I'll just wash my hand, a bit pen and ink in. And again, oh, yes, yeah, little boat, get yourself all caught up. And don't That's catch it. yourself. No, don't catch yourself. Well, there we go. So there's the stingers. Pike comes, take it like that. Hopefully, one of those hooks will, uh, will nail it. Oh, yeah. it's getting in a bit of a tangle here. Right, again, we're just moving along. Let that sink a bit. There'll be a bright stink coming out of that. And that's just, God. That's just coming along now. Nice again, just let that cock. Let it out. And then again, phew. We'll get the wipes out of the bag in a minute. We're in 16 foot of water. There we go. Stick that on the bait runner. Make sure there's plenty. Oh. That one's too fish. I hope it's not ours. To put it on that for because I've been sea fishing with this. That uh, that bait runner, the bait runner mm, tension things stuck on this, so I'm gonna have to put it on the uh, on the clutch. So just enough line to take it out. Oh God, now we're bobbing the other way. There we go. Again, I haven't got a rod holder this side because I fitted it in the wrong place. I fitted it behind me, and it should be there. So again, yeah, it's not there. That'll just go up against the air. Uh, oh yeah. Uh, and that's it, we'll just roll along now. Close this uh, bait bucket because it is a bit stinking. Again, I'm a bit of a fan of NGT to be honest, even though most people say, oh it's cheap and chatty. Yeah, it's cheap and chatty is for putting fish in. And again, eight quid that, or you can pay 15, 20 quid for a tracker one, or an aqua, or a nash. No, I'd rather use NGT myself. 
Yeah, right, so now we just troll along now. And that's got that'll give a line on the take. Pulled it out. That'll give a line on the take, and away we go. What are we in? There's another boat come screaming over. That's what you've got to watch for on lakes like this, is other boats. I mean, it's October now, so it's very quiet, but there's still boats flying around. Yeah, you coming here in August, July, August, you ain't got a cat and hell's chance. You've got canoes out here, you've got boats, you've got the ferry service, you've got people windsurfing, sailing. It's a nightmare, so I wouldn't bother, in, uh, especially when kids are off, I wouldn't bother. Come up here, October, November. In December. It's open all year. It is Nickel End, is where we launch the boat, Nickel End Marina. Uh, that's at the top, the top north end of uh, Derwent Water, um, up by Porting Scale. Yeah, so Google Porting Scale or Nickel End Marina if you want to put the boat in. Uh, and basically, two days fishing, boat goes in, gets moored up for two days, plus the camping. Yeah, between me and his sister, that has cost us uh, 60 quid for the pair of us for three days. Cheap as chips, not to be sniffed at. We've got some more waves coming over. But again, we've got them trolling now. One mackerel, one herring. Let's see how it goes, kids, shall we? Fantastic. Oh, just put your fishy fingers in your hair. <laughs> Smells like fish. Right. Just had a nudge there. We're in. 27, 28 feet of water, so that wasn't the bottom. I'm going to reel it in, see if there's any teeth marks in it. There's teeth marks in the fish, so let's have a, have a go at that then. Yeah, was it? Oh yeah. Yeah, look at that, it's took its tail. <gasps> look at that, bike's had that. It's took its tail, missed the, missed the hook. Well, Teeth marks. Yep, sliced it wide open. Oh my god, get it back in. Mm. And that was in. That was in 27 gone. foot of foot water, trolling at about. Yep. Where's mine gone? That was a nudge. Oh. oh. I've done a little trump. Poo didn't come out there. Right, let's have another go. I might have another another trip past there. 25 foot of water, yeah. Oh, mine's over on. there. Definitely Pike's had a go at that. It's pulled it out of the mouth, pulled it out of its mouth, just ripped that herring right open. They like the herring. I've had them on herring in, uh, in Sweden. Oh, so they're there. I wonder if not followed it to have another boat. go. Here's that fucking boat again now. You've got to keep your eye out on them boats. Or they'll have you. Where's it going? You've got to keep your eye out for them. Get back over there. Watch out for the ferry man, because he won't turn. He ain't tourist, probably. I'm not. Oh, you can hear me munching on these things. Let's have another run past that island there, see if we can uh, get back over that pipe because it's still hanging about. Yeah, they make some waves then, don't they? Let's get out of the way. Yeah, he won't move for me, I'll have to move for him. 
I'm going to have to turn bows onto them waves. Back. Stern on. Yeah, imagine it in the summer. Oh my god. Yeah, we're in October now, halfway through October. Oh dear. Oh. Probably do it on purpose anyway. Oh my god, look at the size of that one. Oh. So we've had a nibble there, let's get back over there and let's see if he's still hanging about, Mr. Pike has interrupted us. <laughs> yeah, we'll have another run down there, see if he's there. Uh... Go and see if we can find Dick Van Dyke. <laughs> see if he's still loitering with intent. <laughs> Chasing Mary Poppins. Mm. There we go. Right, leave that on a nice, nice slow troll. So we've had a bite. Yeah, looking promising. Woohoo! Should we have some lunch? The time is. Mr. Clock. It is. <laughs> <laughs> I've got my pot scratchy. Do you not want one? No, I break my tea. It says on the bag, look. It says in the bag here, it says, Yes, warning, only recommended for people with strong, healthy teeth. Although extra care has been taken to remove bones, some may still remain. How the fuck do you get bones in pig skin? It's like I went on American Airlines when I was in the army. We went to America and we flew American Airlines. And on the way over, they give you little condiments, don't they? Little sundries. And they give us a bag of peanuts and a can of coke. And on the bag of peanuts, he said, warning may contain nuts. <laughs> Fucking Americans. <laughs> warning may contain nuts. Well, they won't do it now if people have got allergies to peanuts. Or nuts. Oh, Diet Coke. Makes a change, doesn't it? Me with a can of Diet Coke, me, and this had a can of a beer. Oh, I it. <laughs> on his battery. Right, let's have another run after Dick Van Dyke. We can turn that off now, Bev. We'll turn it back on once we've uh, caught a big fat fish. Oh, Bye, peeps. Missed it. Oh, is it gone? Missed it. I bet that's got more teeth marks in it. You'll have no fish left in a minute. Mine's going. Yep. Oh my god, it's ripped half of it off. Yep. You'll have no fish. That's 19 foot of water, it's not the bottom. That is 19 foot of water. How much fish have we got? Half a fish left? I don't know. It's took the back end off. It has. Good teeth marks in that. Yeah, now. oh my god. Oh no, it's not just that no. side. But there'll be plenty of juices coming out of that, don't worry about that. We're in 18 foot of water, so 17 oh, foot. Oh, mine's going low, it's bending. Stick in the water. Yeah, big lump of weed. Oh. Yeah, it's gone through a load of weed there. That's all. <sighs> so let's have a go at yours. 
It has. Unless it's guts have just fell out. Well, some have sliced it. But the guts hanging out is good. But if it wasn't for that hook, they'd have fell off by now. You see the hook? Yeah. Two serves two purposes, that. Keeps it in a straight line. And it stops oh, it's it a shame stopping. that you can't put any in the other side or underneath, in it? Well, you can do. You can just make stingers to go around here. We haven't done any. Stink as well. Mm. Oh, what are you into Yeah. Nine, ten feet. Have humans. <laughs> humans. Humans. Another planet of, plan of the apes. So right, we're only trolling, them fish are trolling about six, eight foot. Oh, there's more weed here, it's all around propeller. Oh, it's a bit weedy around here. It is, isn't it? You're gonna, but it's gonna go right through it now. Yeah. get over there, out of the way. Oh, there's a lot of weed here. Is that what they're riding in? Well, they don't actually hide any weed on the surface there, but they do hide in the weed on the bottom and around the margins. Ready to pounce to ambush fish swimming past. Freshwater sharks, Bev. That's what they are. We're 11 foot of water. That's all the weed. It's picking up all the weed on the surface, that's what that is. Yeah. Right, let's get yours out, Peppy. Let's just make sure there's no weed on this one. No, we're laughing, mate. Look, more humans. <laughs> Imagine this in the summer. It'd be horrendous. Where's the park? I know. But 
imagine it in the summer. Take your head in on it. Eight foot. That's that, that's the depth alarm that. Don't me. say that again. Look, it's there. Bad positioning that. Schoolboy error. So I'm gonna position it there for when I come. In a couple of weeks with big carp, camo carl. Can't catch carp but can catch pike. Well we'll see won't we? What we on? Nine foot. The alarm's gone off. As soon as it gets down to eight foot, it'll he it starts beeping telling you in shallow water. But I don't use it to find fish, I usually just use it to get the depths. Right, let's get back out there. Yeah. It's had weedy, it's had weedy round here. Yeah, see, when it picks up weed in the water, it'll pick it up and it'll come on there as fish, but it's not. It could be weed, could be sticks, could be anything floating in the water. So you don't go, oh, there's a fish. Yeah, I only use it for depths. Right, save the battery for when we get a big dynamo. Right, we're trolling along. We're not having much success, so I've got to increase my chances. So I've got a multiplier and an eight foot spinning rod. This is what I used to use for uh, trolling in Sweden. And I've put, of course, I've got my wire trace. That's 30 pound wire trace. Or bearing link swivel there. On the head, that is a homemade shad head. I've made that myself. I've got a shad mould, glued some eyes on, glittery pink coating. Then I've got this thing is savage gear. This I think it's mad grow cell stuff. Yeah, because these are crap. Yeah, the fish I've had where they've just hit the rubber shad and then you pulled it out of the mouth because of this single hook. So, of course, on the side, they put what they call little stingers, and it's just a little wire trace. I put swivels on the end of mine. And then just nip the uh, the treble, the barb, because they're semi barbless size. Their size uh, fours them. Again, crimped on wire, and on the other side, same thing. So the fish it's that is going to get hooked. Yeah, so I'm just jigging that over the side of the boat, down in there, just jigging it up and down like so. You never know; it might provoke a fish into taking it. Because we're in 21 foot of water and we're coming up to some humans. So let's knock <laughs> that down. So it's the bottom. Yeah, that's it, the bottom there. Just reel it up a couple of feet. And then that's it. I'll just have a little big of a jog jig. Because it won't, the tail won't flick on. Let's just come up. It won't flick on the uh, just on the motor. Not trolling fast enough. Just have to jig it up and down and see what happens. Right, super. And then we've just been out there in the middle. It went down to 69 foot, didn't it, Bev? Yeah. 69 foot of water. But now we're back into 14 foot of water. I think we need to make a bit of a turn before we hit those humans. We've got to <laughs> we've got Davy Crockett over there in his canoe. Oh, God, yeah. Mm. On the oh, that sun's off my legs again now. We're only 13 foot now. That's better for the uh, for the floaty troll dead baits. At least we can bring it right up to the surface. We've had them before jigging over the side of the boat in Sweden, just toodling along like this, and boom, they don't half hit it. Right, we're in 13 foot. We better go out a bit. Do, 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 do. Oh, it's lovely up here, isn't it? It's a lovely day. I don't suppose it's as nice as this when it's honking it down. Hey, Bubbles. No chitty. <laughs> Beautiful weather. It is lovely. Couldn't be better for October. Yeah. Oh, 12 foot of water. Let's get back out a little bit more. 
away from the humans. Davy Crockett. <laughs> One patch. And the, the amazing, incredible swimming dog. Yes. Right, let's get out there. It's out of bit. It's only 12 feet. on the bottom and as I jig it up you can see it. Yeah. It's not really deep here is it? Jigging along, singing a song in me Derwin Water Wonderland. <laughs> <laughs> Looking like a traffic hole. <laughs> so I'm just jigging along, singing a song in me Derwin Water Wonderland. There's some moths. I bet they've been having alfresco do that up against that tree. Look at them. Got flashes back on. I <laughs> wondered why he was bending yeah. over. Humans picking up his dog shit. <laughs> the wind's blowing us a bit faster now, isn't it? No. The sun's off me legs. My legs are going cold now. The sun's oh. off them. Right, let's save the batteries for some fish. Okie dokie. Hopefully we'll have a fish. Piddly pokey. Mad pole. Flies and stuff. Right, well we're making our way back to uh, Nickel End. But it'll probably take us an hour to get back to there. Just trolling on there. On number two now, because we're going into the wind, so it slowed us right down. So it's going to take a while to get back. Now we haven't had any fish. No more bites after that one earlier. Uh, nothing on the jig. Nothing on the troll herring. Uh, we're making our way back and that's it. My sister looks like an Eskimo. She does, she looks like a pleb. Look, she's got my tracker jacket on, my army Gore-Tex and a stupid fucking hat. <laughs> a stupid hat. There we go, trolling away. I'm a bit <sighs> chilly. <sighs> Well, it's lovely scenery, if nothing else. <laughs> Why are the trees green? Oh, shut up. But I'll add that. Why are the trees green? Because <laughs> <laughs> they're not blue. We're in 13 foot. But, again, the uh, fish alarm is not going off. No surprise, no fish in here. No, if they come for a free lunch, and fuck off! <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, we've chucked our our dead bait over the side. The ones that are dead. The ones that are broken back, so we had to get rid of him. He couldn't swim properly. <laughs> Even though he was dead. Yeah. <laughs> and his guts were hanging out of his ass. He chopped them off. <laughs> right, let's get some fishing done. Meffing We've about. been doing it all day and not caught out. Well, we keep trying to try again. Nibble. We keep trying until we do. That's the, that's the whole point of fishing. You're like a kid, you. You don't catch out in five minutes. It's boring. You start pissing about. No, I haven't been boring. I've been sat out here for four hours. Yeah, well, this is it, fishing. Right, let's save the battery for when we get... So you can hear me? Yeah, go. So, not a sniff. Not a sniff, never mind. There's always uh, another day. So, pack all the gear in, get back to the bivvy. I'll have a cup of tea, some to eat, and a film. And fucking chickens, probably. <laughs> to feed. Yeah. Right. Oh, you're awake now, are you? Yeah. <laughs> Where are you going? I just put my shoes on. <laughs> <laughs> Where are you going, Beffy? I'm going for a piss. <laughs> Make sure you stamp your feet. I'm going to the toilet, I'm not going round the back of the car. <laughs> Might get condensation on my ass. <laughs> and then there'll be no water left in the world for anyone else. What's the, what have we got today? It's packing up going home day, isn't it? It is. Oh, never mind, we'll come out and do it again. We didn't get no fish, but we've had some fun, haven't we? Yeah, we're 
getting a fucking fish, the fuckers. <laughs> um, you want to play? You can't wait to show this me dad and he is you swearing, you go <gasps> mad. Don't show that me dad. <laughs> <laughs> go on, Bev. I want to film your big fat ass going out the door. <laughs> It's supposed to be a pike fishing video, this. All we ended up with taking a piss out of each other. Yeah, bit of a piss take video. <laughs> Look at that fucking, fucking cl eclipse. <laughs> it's cold, it's a bit chilly. <laughs> Well, your coat rather. <laughs> Go on, I'm getting up now. I'll put a kettle on. Tent in itself, this coat. It's a bivvy. Oh. Tents are for tourists. Hey, the chickens aren't here yet. Good. Pain in the ass they are. Heard them. Oh, I'm getting condensation dripping on my head here. So, it's going home day. We didn't catch any Dick Dan. <laughs> <laughs> we didn't catch any Dick Van Dyke. Pike. <laughs> So, we're having breakfast. As he stands there scratching his knackers. I always do scratch my knackers. You've seen all my other videos oh. like that. I must have got lurgy. <laughs> He's got crabs. I've got lurgy on my balls. <laughs> so, yeah, no Dick Van Dyke this week. Uh, we'll go down and get the... Uh, we'll go down and get the... Get the boat on the trailer. Back up here, pack everything away. But first, of course, we'll go and have our... Well, I'll have to go peep. Kettle's whistling. Oh, Cheerio. That's how you hold the camera. <laughs> you see it in raspberry ripples. <laughs> Come on, get coffees made. Get coffees made. Where's the spoon? Now have a look. That I would have steady this camera and get you all in the shot, not like your crap filming. Carl's better than you. Oh, well, fucking Carl's not here, is he? Big cap, camo cat, three, three of them. Three? Yeah. You know, no wonder you don't sleep. <laughs> 39p them. I got 39 pence they are, kids. From what, Was it B&M or was it... There was a shop, they sell them a quid in Morrison's and places like that. But you get them from 39, either B&M or... We no longer have Tupperware. One of them cheap shitty thingy places. What? Sweetness, do you want? There's my dummy because I keep spitting it out. Yes, it doesn't. It shoves it up his bum. Yeah, it's my bum plug dummy. Sweetness, not them horribles. Do sweet X. Them? No, they're, they're cheap and chatty. They're horrible. How many of these do you want? Two of them. That's it. Shouldn't have any at all. Why not? Because they're aspartame. And they're carcinogenic. You don't even know what that means, do you? I'm not really asked. I don't have it. Don't you know what carcinogenic means? I don't eat it. What? <laughs> <laughs> you haven't got Mickey what? Mouse on your mug. I know. That's because it's from when we went to Florida. <laughs> 16 years ago. You haven't met my other sister yet. She's twice as bad. She's not she's not as good looking as me though. <laughs> <laughs> With me nice hair. <laughs> Oh, are you making breakfast now? I'm a <laughs> I'm lady of leisure in my tent, don't you know? It's a bivvy. Tents are for tourists. We are a fucking tourist. We're not. Well, what are we doing? We're fishing. Fisherman. We're fishing. We're not in the tent. We're not fishing. It's not a tent. It's a fucking bivvy. Stop swearing. My dad will watch this. Tents are for tourists. We are tourists. Oh, I spilled the milk. So what's in this coat? Because supposed to be a tracker that. Oh. 140 quid jacket that with the salopettes. With the salopettes? <laughs> with the salopettes. <laughs> and we got it cheap in outdoors. Go outdoors. Go outdoors. 90 quid for the lot triple XL that is, that size. Wouldn't others wouldn't fit me. Because of my big man chest. Or me and my big woman chest. Let's have a look. No, can't get them out. <laughs> They're drooping down to my knees. Got yeah, no bra they, on. They've gone south, haven't they? <laughs> Tuck them in my boots. Yeah. <laughs> Come on, let's have our cup of tea. 
You're having coffee, I'm having tea. I know, so wake me up, then we're going to have to get the boat. Yeah, we're we'll going to get the boat. I need a shower. Then we'll pack up here and then we'll go home. Wash my lovely hair. And I'm going to make a rig making video, pike trace, spinner blade, dead bait rigs, stingers, double stingers. <laughs> Whoa. Yeah, we'll have all that kids when we get back. Watch out for my next videos, how to make uh, dead bait spinner traces and of course uh, spinner blade traces even and stingers. Breakfast that have gym jams on. Full English scoff. You can't beat that, can you? Can you not knock it? And a cup of chow. Go away with that camera. We're off to get the boat with Captain Pugwash. Mind the gap. Oh, I've stood on rope. Oh, the boats and canoes. Take that through. On now, and then we're away. Put your keys away. Now grab hold of that. Pull it through. Right. Right, I'll paddle you later. <laughs> row, row, row your boat gently round the lake. <laughs> merrily, 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 merrily. Oh, like Charlie's right. Right, I'll meet you around there, chuck me the rope and I'll pull you in. Roger that, roger that, Alright, see you in a mo. Flow.
that's it for another session. No pike this time, never mind. Coming back in a couple of weeks. So, we'll have another go. See you in two weeks, kids. Ta-da!